Do you want to get some of the best unique armor and weapons in the game? This is a quick and dirty playthrough showing you exactly how to get the Death Brand armor and two scimitars named Blood Scythe and Soul Render. Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. So we finished the main storyline for the Dragonborn DLC and I'm just going to be tying up a few loose ends. Uh, one of these being Deathbrand, which is a quest to find the treasures of Hackneer Deathbrand that are scattered across Solstheim. Now these include Deathbrand armor and two scimitars named uh, Blood Scythe and Soul Render. Uh, this video is purely to show you how to get these items. I'll be doing a separate video giving you all the details, but I will say one thing, these are definitely worth getting as soon as possible. Now, one problem is that this quest can only be started after finding and reading a copy of Death Brand at level 36 or higher. Reading it before level 36 will not activate the quest and copies can be found all around Solstheim, but I'll show you a particular place where I get it. Uh, another one's actually in the temple. Uh, however, there is an alternative way to activate the, the quest at level 36 or higher uh, without the book having to read. And if the pirates guarding the ancient chest at Hackney's Shoal are killed, the death brand Helm will spawn in the chest and the quest will be activated. And the dead pirate captain will also have the map to the other locations as well. If you kill him before your level 36, you will get the helmet and you will get the map, but the um, quest will not spawn. Okay, uh, obviously I've already read the book, so the quest has been activated, but this is where I like to come and get it because you get a bit of a lock picking and sneaker uh, uh, XP. Uh, the easiest way is in the temple in Raven Rock, and uh, uh, you can get it there. But like I say, it spawns elsewhere. And don't forget to uh, rob this uh, strong box, you get an East Empire pendant in here as well. And we like them. I don't think I've ever bothered selling one actually. I'm picking them up all the time. <laughs> I don't know why. There you go. East Empire Pendant. Nom nom nom. Okay, once that's done, you want to go to Hackney's Shoal. That's uh, near the Windstone. Not far from the Skull Village. Okay, let's go and get our first piece of armour. I use a bound bow this time. That's one down. These guys aren't particularly tough, by the way. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Get him. Easy port one. I'll leave Genesis still with the other one. <laughs> okay, give her a hand. Yeah, that'll sort him out. Okay, so, loot him. Death Brand treasure map, that's what you want. Death Brand book, so obviously you can read the book here. Okay, that'll do and unlock the uh, chest which is an expert chest and if you guys are having problems with the lock picking i've done a video recently uh, well uh, quite a few weeks ago uh, explaining how to lock pick effectively so i suggest you watch that not that i'm making a very good show of this actually <laughs> it's kind of a do as i say what i do situation i think okay job done and we got Death Brand Helm. Like I said, I'll be going through all the details and all these. Uh, in, well, go, go through everything in more detail in another video. This is just to show you how to get it. The next piece is near uh, White Ridge uh, Barrow and just run down the mountainside or go to the Waterstone, which is probably easiest, and run along the coast. Uh, whichever way suits you. Okay. So there's a the Waterstone. Just head on down the hill. Keep on running. There's a dragon we killed uh, not long ago. 
When the tide oh. goes, we'll go with it. Hope okay. Are still good. How long has it been? Best be shoving off now. Best be shoving off now. That's um odd. That's <laughs> very odd. Anyway, just uh, keep on coming down here. Run along the shore, the shoreline. These guys don't bother you unless unless you bother them. Okay. Just along here. And uh, it's guided by mud crabs, which I think we should be able to deal with. And uh, I think that's it. Job done. And here's the next chest. It's an adept level. You can watch my amazing lock picking. Yep. <laughs> Oh dear. Come on. Yeah, I am truly crap. Oh, yeah, job done. Okay, now we've got the gauntlets. So it's not bad at all. Okay, nom nom. So, next up, we've got to travel back to uh, Raven Rock and the Earthstone. And they're just about there. Very, very close to the Earthstone. So, fast travel there. And once you're at the Earthstone, uh, just travel north along the coastline. Not very far at all. And you're going to encounter a few uh, bandits or reavers. Unfortunately, you have to fight them. Um, there you go. I'm trying to get my magic up a little, my destruction magic up a bit. Where are you? Where are you? You're hiding from me. Where are you? Come to daddy or mummy in this case. It just shows you sneaky scary works. So I went right past her. <laughs> How rubbish is that? Oh, that's not bad. Got the book already. Meat pie. Nope. Okay, so the chest. Let's see what this guy's got first. 250 gold, that's not bad. And actually decent armour as well, if uh, if you want it. Here's your chest. And it's a depth level again. Okay, come on. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly, come on, just a little bit more. Ah, job done. There you go. And we've actually got the armour, which is actually very good, 128. Very, very good, actually. Okay. So now we've got that, we'll go for the next piece. The uh, final piece of the armour is near Neloth's house um, in Tel Mithrin, which hopefully is just here where I'm pointing on the arrow there. So fast travel to Tel Mithrin there. Okay, hook a right and head down towards the coast. Now you could have different types of enemy here, you can either get Reavers or Ashborn. Uh, I got Ashborn, I'm not sure if it's a level thing or random. So be prepared for either. Just run around here and you'll be attacked. So I'm trying to get my destruction up to 60. That's him, good night. Oh, up to 58. Oh, did he just punch me? <laughs> he just punched me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay, one to go. Oh, mm. there you go. They are quite tough little buggers, actually. Okay. Yeah, occasionally they have decent stuff on them. Flora's Garnet. Nom nom. I'll have that. Okay, so the chest is down here. A couple of uh, bandits or reavers. Oh, a treasure hunter. Poor, poor person. I maligned them. They were decent people, just killed by the ash spawn, obviously. Okay, so here we go, expert. Let's see if I can fare any better this time. Oh, obviously not. Not far off it though, come on then. There you go, job done. So we've got Gildan Hole Barrow Key, we're going there next, and the Death Brand Boots, um, increasing carry carrying capacity by 10 for each Death Brand item you wear. Uh, it's not bad at all. So nom them, and uh, we'll go over to Gildan Hall Barrow next. So if you, again, near the Skull Village, you can actually cut right along the middle of the uh, the uh, island there, Thirstmead Hall, any, anywhere uh, fairly close. Okay, fast travel there. Now guys, be prepared for a fight here. It uh, can get a bit hellacious. Uh, there's a lot of enemies. Um, there is actually a way of uh, getting around that, but you have to have pretty good archery, I think. Okay, so from Skull Village, just all the way down here. And there's the barrow. Okay, I'll sneak past the hawker. You see, Genesis has, Genesis, Genesis has, just has to kill him. I'll try and leave all the animals alive if I can, but uh, I can't control her, she's a savage. Okay. You're going to come across a, a couple of bandits outside. Okay. So I'm going to go sneaky sneaky. Take care of the archer first. Good night. Good night. And we've got four gold, nom nom. A very poor reaver. What you got? Elmo gold 31, lockpick. Gold necklace too. It's obviously a far more successful reaver. Okay, so what we do is uh, we just literally go in, we've got the key. And we find the adventurer. And lockpick. And notice about missing treasures. Okay, now if we read the notes, and the single richest treasure trove of all Soulstone, they said, but looks like this place was cleaned out uh, centuries ago. The story might be worth something, but my pickaxe ain't even gonna touch it. Okay, so we've got a, a Nordic pickaxe, ancient Nordic pickaxe, and if you haven't got one, um, go see my uh, video about the final thieves chest, and that shows you how to get one. Um, you don't have to mind this one here at all. I'm just doing this purely um, because I want the story. Okay, and if you didn't know, you don't have to go through the uh, uh, the whole animation for mining. You can just equip it and just wallop the store rim or any ore. It's a quicker way to mine. Okay, this is the one we want to go to, just here. And just keep hitting it. There you go. And that opens up the entrance. Now, I'm going to equip myself a sword here because what I found out, now I'm not sure if this works for everybody, but if you sh one shot Hackney Deathbrand as soon as he spawns, um, all his pirate crew do not spawn. Um, 
So for you guys, uh, that may be a little hint if you're not particularly uh, good at one arm, uh, sorry, combat. Um, pop him off with a, uh, a, a good arrow. Okay, so when you come in here, it's absolutely full of gold. And I think it's around about 8,000 gold. There's going to be gems, some enchanted stuff, uh, glass armor, stuff like that. I think the 8,000 gold is for everybody, any level, I think, um, as far as I'm aware. So work your way around that. And as soon as you start picking up the gold, the door will lock. Okay, no way out apart from actually finishing the fight. Okay, so you're now rich. Now's the time to get ready. Make sure you're ready for this, guys, because uh, it's going to be quite hellacious. So pop down. And like I say, if you one-shot him, you won't have to deal with his crew. Well, I'm sure you won't. No guarantees on that, goes. so try it. Make sure you save. Okay. I'm going to pop out the boys as a bit of backup, because there's a lot of them. Okay. Okay, let's quick search him, another 254 gold. And as soon as we take Blood Scythe, that starts it. You see the door at the back is locked, and he's going to spawn down here. So I'll hit him with the sword. There you go, down you go, bitch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> They'll come from all sides. <laughs> Little boys are making short work of this lot. There you go. He's back again for some more. Good night. Yes. They just don't stop, they just keep coming. <laughs> it's a mad fight. Okay, is there any left? Okay, so uh, once you've done that, just go around and search all the uh, the ghostly remains. Okay, where are you? Oh, there's more. I thought they'd finished. I'll leave them to carry on with it. They don't need me. What's that hacking the death brand again? Oh, there you go. That's all I want. And we got soul render. There you go. What we come for? Fantastic. And it's worthwhile popping round and um, losing everything else as well. And we got nice chests at the top once we've done that. There's a lot of them. So you see what I mean about becoming prepared? And I guess this is why you've got to be level 36 before they let you uh, take on the quest. Okay. And I think there must be a couple more. No, we've done him. Okay. And nope. And what's up here? Empty. Empty. It's a plasm. 
12 gold. What we got in the urn? Nope, don't need that. Okay, I think that's pretty much uh, job done. And we've got the boss chest here as well. So another 215 gold. Circuit of Conjuration, don't need that. Mm, that could be worth the episode, we'll sell that. And that's definitely worth taking as well. Okay, fantastic. So that's it. And this is what I'm saying, guys. Be prepared for a big fight. And uh, if you've got a follower and you can conjure up some um, Atronax to help you, it's all worthwhile. Okay, so let's look at the, look at the two swords. Like I said, I'll be going more detail on these things later on. Where are you? Come down to... It's all render. There you go. Yeah, that's on the right. Okay, these are pretty awesome weapons. What I'm going to do is actually um, I smith these up to uh, a really high level, legendary, and give them to Genesis. She's a she's a specialist at two-handed, but they are pretty awesome. <laughs> anyway guys this was a quick and dirty through uh, dirty playthrough on this just how to get them and I'll give you all the details and all the lovely little screenshots on them uh, later on uh, in another video um, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, you found it useful and uh, see you later chaps and chaplets I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like leave a comment and please do subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later!